Hi, I'm Amy from PlotoFit Yoga, and today I'm going to show you some exercises to help stabilize your SI joint or your sacroiliac joint. Um, it's very important to stabilize this joint. A lot of times people think that they're having hip pain or that they're having sciatica, um, and it can feel like a lot of different things, but a lot of times I've been finding that it's, it's just people's SI joints that are getting, out, getting pushed out of place and causing them pain in the low back. So if you have some low back pain, this might help you certainly not going to hurt, so you can always give it a try and see if it helps. All right, so we are going to start coming sideways on our mats. Let's start with a basic bridge pose. I like to use, oh, for this you're going to need a block and a strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can use a tie, a belt, a band, anything you have that you can wrap around your legs. So it doesn't have to be the yoga strap, um, and it doesn't have to be a block. Pilates ball, anything you can put between your thighs will work too. You don't have to have something between the thighs, but I like to use something. So if you don't have that, don't worry about it. All right, so we're going to come sideways on your mat. You're going to stick that block between the thighs. Lower yourself down. Nice and slow. So we're going to start with bridge pose, which is excellent for stabilizing the SI. Hands are going to come down by your side. You're going to walk your heels up towards your hip bones. Hands come down by your side. See if you can touch the backs of your heels with your fingertips. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just do the best you can. Squeezing that block with your inner thighs, you're going to lift from the glutes nice and evenly. So it's key to squeeze those glutes evenly and lift evenly. So inhale, squeeze the glutes. Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze that block. And then exhale, lower down. So we're going to do a couple warm ups. You're going to go nice and slow. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Again, squeezing the glutes, squeeze that block. Exhale, lower. So just come up as far as it feels all right with your back. You don't have to make it a big move. You can come up a little bit to start. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Exhale, lower. And then one more. We're going to inhale, squeeze and lift and hold. So squeeze those glutes, squeeze the blocks. Again, keep your hips nice and even. Squeezing that block. We're going to hold for 30 seconds or so. If that's too much for you and you need to come down, just come down. Those of you who practice bridge, and this feels good, if you want to interlace the fingers and tuck the shoulders under, come up a little higher, lift your chest, lift your chin away from your chest a little bit. You can. Just make sure, again, it's nice and even. But five more seconds. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. And then release the hands. We're going to exhale, lower down nice and slow. Good. Slide that block out gently. Rock your knees from side to side. Again, watch your low back. Depending on how bad your low back is, um, you'll have to gauge on whether or not this feels all right. If it doesn't, don't rock your knees side to side because you can pop it out with something as simple as that. All right, next what we're going to do is a hamstring press. You're going to walk your toes down towards the end of your mat a little bit. Head and shoulders are going to stay on the mat. You're going to do a little bit of a pelvic tilt, but you're, instead of tilting this way like we normally do, we're going to tilt a tiny little bit away. So you're creating a little bit of an arch in the low back. And as you do that, I want you to squeeze your tummy. So lifting from that pelvic floor all the way up to so that belly button is coming in and up. So nice and tight. And all that does is just stabilize your core and works the traverse abdominis. So working nice and deep muscles, which will also help support your low back. So working those at the same time as we do the hamstring press. Hands come down by your sides. Take a nice deep inhale and on your exhale with that little arch and the abs engage, you're just going to push your heels down. And you're going to feel that up the backs of your legs. It's kind of hard to demo and talk. But you're going to feel that up the backs of the legs as you push those heels down. And you're going to hold for 10 seconds, squeezing the glutes, squeeze the back of the legs. And then relax. So I'm going to do, I'll show you one more. Squeeze the glutes, little arch in that back. Push your heels down, squeeze the backs of your legs, lifting from that pelvic floor all the way up while you're pushing those heels down so you're working those tiny little muscles that'll help support your low back, that SI joint. 10 seconds, and then relax. So I want you to do a 10, 10 of those for 10 seconds to start. And then you can gradually increase. You don't have to hold it much longer, but maybe add a couple more steps. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna walk those knees in a little bit. You're going to take your block and stick that between the thighs. You can use a ball. You can use anything you can squeeze between those knees. I just want your knees hip width apart, so I don't want you to go too, too wide. Oh, well, that'll help too, but I want to work the tinier muscles. So walk those feet in, something that just keeps your thighs knee width apart, uh, hip width apart rather. Hands down by your sides again. Belly button in and up again, so squeezing those glutes, engaging the core. Take a nice deep inhale on your exhale. I want you to just squeeze that block together. So just draw your legs together, squeeze for 10 seconds. And then release, and then squeeze again. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze that block. So again, nice and isometric, tiny little move. You don't really have to move around a lot, but it really strengthens. And relax, good. And again, you're gonna go on to do about 10 of those. Last one I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take the block out. We're gonna grab the band. 
or strap, whatever you have, wrap it around your thigh. So you're gonna slide it up so it's just above your knees, maybe about four inches above your knees. If it's a stretchy band, it's not gonna hurt your knees, you can put it right on the knees. You're gonna walk your feet back, come back down. Feet are gonna be together for this one again, so we work the tinier muscles. We're not working the bigger outside muscles that are on the outside of the hips. I wanna work deep and tiny. So we're gonna scoop that belly again, hands down by your side. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale. This time we're gonna push the legs out against the band. So again, tiny moves, so that band is tight, so your legs are together, feet are together, and push it out. And then hold for 10 seconds. Keep your abs nice and tight. And then rest. Nice deep inhale, exhale, press that band out, squeeze your abs. So working nice and deep with the abs. And relax. And again, you're gonna go on to do a set of 10 for 10 seconds. Gradually build up. And that'll hopefully help strengthen that low back. So if you're having any low back pain, give that a try and hopefully that will help once you stabilize that SI joint. There's also some stretches you can do, which I'll show you um, in another video. So thanks for joining me. I really hope that helps you. If you have any questions, post some comments below. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Namaste.